Yeah, g'day all. Just thought I'd like to share with you my latest project. I've just been building one of a one of those uh, Mozilla ZVS flyback driver units, and I just thought I'd like to show you how this one went. And also, just want to give a very special thank you to Ray from Rotocal, who uploaded a video recently on construction tips and tricks for these units. So, and I found his video came along at the right time when I was in the middle of putting this one together so yeah thanks again Ray you've done a, another good video there anyway moving along this is the diagram I've got here you find these on the net and uh, in this one I use uh, IR, IRFP 264N channel power MOSFET it's 38 amp 280 watt 0.075 ohms on resistance 250 volts it's a pretty heavy duty unit and luckily I had a few of these lying around at hand so I put them to use and also had some uh, RHRG 3120 hyperfast diodes and I had a few of those in my uh, scrap pile as well so, so they all do the job quite well I built the whole thing on a heatsink, had a nice aluminium block, and I put the MOSFETs in, in pairs, so I share the load, so you know, with those sort of heavy duty MOSFETs, they're never going to burn out or do anything, hopefully. Got the Zener diodes. The inductor, I just had a ferrite core which I just wound some. A bunch of turns of copper on that seems to work. I haven't actually measured it, so I'm not sure what the exact inductance is. Got the capacitors here. So you've got the blocking diodes, the MOSFETs, and a flyback. This is what I pulled from an old colour TV. So I've got a few of these circuit boards here that have been scrapping flybacks out of old colour TVs and stuff and here's a few here anyway way Ray described how he wound his turns he lifted the holding strap on the ferrite core and uh, sometimes you find that these straps are glued onto the core using some sort of uh, Loctite compound so use a bit of heat to soften it a you know, hot air gun or if you're careful with a small uh, blowtorch or something anyway yeah so that, that way you can just prise it off without putting too much pressure on the core which have a, you have a risk of breaking it so you've got five turns center taps here anyway I'll uh, switch it on and just show you how this one goes this is just an old pass I made up it's got a big heavy duty transformer which has a rectifier and filter caps and things and variable voltage selector anyway not drawing any current at the stage Okay, 16 volts at the moment. Pulling just about, about 4 amps and the voltage just drops down. 14 volts or so. Yeah, this one here is a, an older flyback driver that I built uh, maybe 20 years ago or more. And it's built using a black and white old style uh, TV flyback transformer. And I'm using a pair of 2N3055 2 2 transistors as the drivers. And this one 
been a reliable workhorse for a number of years doing high voltage experiments but it's nowhere near as good as the ZVS units. Right out, we'll try this one out and see how we go. So have a moment without drawing an arc. It's drawing about three amps. Here we go. Nowhere near as good as the ZBS unit. And we're drawing the same current. Same sort of voltage drop of course. But yes, it certainly is a much smaller arc. And also, you can't run this one too long because the transistors get hot quite quickly. Yeah, I just thought I'd do some experiments with various gas filled lamps. So, try this old half broken Beehive Neon that I've got.
Well, I reckon it has run pretty well. After a fair bit of running, only a few of the parts are slightly warm. The heat sink is only just just barely warm. Yeah, transformer is slightly warm, so there's no signs of any electrical stress or anything on any of the components. So it's a great little project, and thanks again, Ray, for sharing some of your uh, tips and tricks with the construction of these ZVS drivers. Thanks for watching.